I got um, a message from Akron, Ohio, and it came from some students who wanted me to come and visit. And so I said, okay, and here we are. I am very excited to welcome everyone here, especially our very important guest, Dr. Green, over here. Wave your hand, Dr. Green. An email was sent saying about how she is our rock star in our classroom, which she is, and if she were ever in the area, would she stop by or email? And before you know it, she came. Language exclamation point has been a very, very important part of this district. The kids are so excited and we get a countdown every day, how many days till Dr. Green. It was like 60 days until Dr. Green was coming and then sooner or later it was like only five days, then one more day, then it just the week just went by so fast. We were all excited and we were doing everything we could to get everything ready. have five students speak this morning. The great thing about these students is they are the ones that I'm referring to that have worked, you know, are working their way through the course of language. My name is JT Walker and I am a sixth grader at Litchfield Middle School. I would like to thank you for writing the language books. This program has helped me become a better speller and a better reader too. Like when I had my speech, like my masterpiece writing, I just really like, I just really like to write masterpiece writing. For kids to have an opportunity at the American Dream, we have to give them proficiency in literacy because without it, they're not going to have a chance. My name is Antonio and I am a ninth grader at Firestone High School. Language is a great program that helps you reading and comprehension. I remember how anchoring helped me to sound out words. My life is better and easier because I can read better. We know from scores on NAEP testing and from district testing that we have about three out of four students who aren't able to function at grade level by fourth grade. And after that, every year the gap gets larger because we don't continue to teach reading. And so if a student hasn't made gain, they get behind her and behind her and behind her. Okay, this is from JT. Oh, how cute. Thank you so much. I love the picture. Who gave me chocolate? I think I better have some of these guys help me eat this chocolate because... You don't need to share because you shared your language. What a sweet thing to say. I think you should be a politician. My plea is on behalf of these kids who really do need multisensory teaching. They're the kids who, as adults, if they become literate, will gravitate toward careers in architecture. They'll become airline pilots. They'll become great athletes. They're the people who have this visual, spatial, motor integration that a lot of us really don't have. Our secret to success is good fidelity of instruction, following the curriculum as closely as they can, motivating the students. All of those things form a recipe that means success for our students. We've reduced our numbers from over 3,000 to 1,100. That didn't happen by accident. That happened because we're implementing at an earlier age. And the huge numbers that we are inheriting in middle school, we've already remediated by the time they're leaving fifth grade. It's helped me some math because when I don't know how to read, when I don't know a word, I just sound it out. I learned how to like spell and anchor and um, sound out words well. This is a book from the students in middle schools in Akron, and we have pictures, and they've signed it for me. Well, you're not. I'm just, I'm just a teacher. Okay. Well, thank you. What a lovely thing to say. Don't believe me. I'll show you my report. Okay. Great. Are there some kids who just get it? Yes, but it's not because they're smarter. It's because they're wired differently. I work very hard on my tests, fluency drills, and anchoring, and masterpiece writing. They all help me a lot. I wouldn't be here now if it weren't for you, Dr. Green. It helps me know what I'm reading, and I can read proficient and fluent without stopping saying dip, um, 
was in there. It's like sending the word out, I could just say the word now. Thank you for letting me come. This was, you know, I'm retired, so I don't ever go anyplace anymore. But when an invitation comes from kids, I'm a sucker. I'm always going to go. So thank you, and thank you for the work you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you.